Greetings and welcome back everyone to Stardew Valley and of course to Dapper Del Farm where a bloody crow is eating one of our beanstalks. Oh well, it was towards the end of the uh, end of the season so it really doesn't matter. I have moved over the tree sapling that was there because it needs um, all the tiles around itself to be clear in order for it to grow. So we need to make sure about that. And I just want to make sure there's no grasses there. Oh, no, the grasses are going to be there whether I like it or not, apparently. Okay. Right. What have we got in the mail today? Dear Avak, tomorrow we'll all be gathering for the flower dance. If you can find a partner, you might even want to participate in the dance yourself. There's a little clearing beyond the forest west of town where we hold the dance. Arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you're interested. Mayor Lewis. Oh, that's lovely. I will, I will go there. It's just... I'm not going to get it anymore. Oh, it's going to be sad. Right, so the west of town would be over here. So by the wizard's tower, maybe it's a little clearing around there, perhaps. We'll have to have a look, but that'll be the general location. Now, tomorrow's weather forecast is nothing particularly special, so we don't need to worry about it. It'll, it'll generally be a fairly nice day, which I suppose is great for the the uh, dance festival after all but not so great for us getting our axe uh, sorry our watering can upgraded before we head into summer which is a bit of a shame i was hoping to have uh, all of these things upgraded by then because it would have been a, a nice nice position for us to be in but for now i'm just going to clean up some more of the trees mostly because i want the sap at the moment i'm going to leave these ones there because i think they look Quite nice even though i do kind of want the um the hardwood right now i'm more concerned with just getting this place looking good really so i'm going to go ahead and spend most of the day today working on that so i'm just going to go into a time lapse and i'm going to bring you back when we're done Okay, there we go. I think our path to the south is now complete. It has taken pretty much all of my energy to do this, but I'm pretty happy with the result. It should actually look really, really nice to travel through this at night, so I'm looking forward to checking that out. Now, over here, we are going to want to uh, work on this a little bit more. Probably, uh, see, we are getting low now on our... Crops. It's 23rd day. Mixed seeds. You know what? There's nothing, no reason for us not to try. We might get, for example, a parsnip and it'd be fine. We'll just have to hope that that ends up being something useful that will actually have time to grow. But with the remainder of our time, let's uh, go ahead, pop this in there. Let's see. Is there anything we want to deposit? Yeah, let's deposit most of this. We've perhaps. Perhaps, now it'll be a very close call, we may have enough time to race down to the town and actually get a couple of um, the geodes explored. I think we're probably going to run out of time, but may as well... Ah, well no, we flat out will. There's absolutely no point. No point at all. That is a bit of a shame. Okay, well, what we'll do instead then is plant us... Some extra trees around the place. Because ultimately, I want this place pretty heavily uh, forested, honestly. Uh, damn it. There we go. And there as well. 
There we are. I need a spot up here as well, please. So that one can go. We'll pop a tree right there. Now, basically, you have to look for areas where there will be room around the tree. As I've mentioned before, it needs all of the tiles around it. So basically, a 3x3 three three area clear for it to uh, be a viable seedling. Okay, well, that's all done. Got a little tiny, tiny, tinsy, wincy bit of energy left. If we can be lucky enough to get a fish with our first attempt, then we will be able to eat it straight away. So let's see. Ah, oh, just shy. Starting to feel exhausted. Well, yes. Now my hope is that you don't actually get tired while trying to fish. Right, what are we going to get? Oh, I really want whatever that is. That's right. Okay, going for it. Come on, come on. Thank you. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. It was worth it, I hope. Might not have been, but we'll see. Come on, there we go. Sunfish. And some bait. Fair enough. I'm not going to turn my nose up at that. That's actually pretty good. Sunfish, only 18 energy, but we'll go ahead and eat it. If nothing else, we're increasing our fishing proficiency. Oh, Max. Let's see what we can get with this one, then. Now, maybe every second fish we'll have to eat, but that'll still give us a reasonable return on in time invested, considering there's not very much else we can do without any uh, any energy. A 17-inch bream. Nice. Very nice. New record. Now, we'll also try along the riverbank here as well. So, very... Very uh, gentle cast, not actually trying to get it too far out at all. Another perfect, fantastic. See what we get. Uh, just a sunfish. Which of the two is better? Uh, neither one. Fairly common river fish that becomes active at night. Sunfish. Uh, well, sunfish, you seem the least impressive of the two. Thus, you are going straight into my belly, and I don't recommend just catching fish out of a lake and then eating them. Just going to say it now. Your digestive system would probably not be your friend for that. Uh, may as well go straight ahead and eat the algae then, at the very least. Okay, well, the nice thing about this base is we are getting the uh, fish biting fairly quickly, which is very, very nice. The last time we spend just waiting for something to happen, the happier I am. I say as I have to wait for ages. Damn it, soggy newspaper! At least the trash had the decency of admitting what it was. There we go. Okay, what well, are we going to go? Which direction? You seem like you want to go down. Oh, no, no, you're okay. And we've got another bream. Fantastic. Okay, this one's going to make us pretty tired. So we're going to have to eat whatever we get here. Ooh, you're a difficult one. You are neither of the two fish that I've had previously, unless you're a sunfish, but I doubt it. No, you're a chub. Very well. Chub, how much energy? Wow, much better. Common freshwater fish known for its voracious appetite. Also worth so much more energy. Um, well, we're going to eat one of these. Let's go ahead and chomp on this bream and then get back to fishing. I actually quite like the fishing minigame. Fairly fairly simple mechanics. A little bit of room for some actual skill at it as well. So it's not painfully easy, but generally quite doable. Oh, wow, I'm messing that up like mad whilst saying that it's easy. Oh, you can't. Okay, another chub. Well, oh, actually, we got two. Very nice. Two high-quality ones. Okay, well, that is it. We're going to have to start eating the chubs from now on. Ah. It's a good old day. Really? Driftwood? When I'm this low on energy? That's just really annoying. Uh, Joja Cola. Trash. I agree with this. Also, I'm going to sneeze. And I'm back. I blame the Georgia Cola for that. The Georgia Cola isn't even going to go into the into the produce bin. It's going straight in the trash. 
I'm not going to put the driftwood in it because at least the driftwood came from nature. Doesn't mean I'd be able to consume it. Oh, I probably could, to be perfectly honest. You might be able to get some nutrients from just gnawing on the bark, but you're probably not going to get anything from that Joja Cola because odds are it's probably some sort of a low-fat, low-sugar Joja Cola, which means it's basically full of chemicals that are just enormously incompatible with us biologically. There's nothing good in it. It literally will just move through your digestive system. From one side to the other, making no stops, depositing no nutrition, it won't be good. Um, well, at the very least, we can drop this off. Let's go ahead, pop you in there. And you know what, I'll drop those off as well. We're probably going to get nothing from the trash, but uh, at least it wasn't Joja Cola. Good boy. Right, fortune teller. Don't need to check. Already checked earlier, but we'll uh, check the... Um, weather report now. Ooh, there we are. Level 3 fishing. Plus 1 fishing rod proficiency. New crafting recipe. A crab pot. New cooking recipe. Dish of the sea. Oh, I like. We're actually getting quite far with our skills at the moment. I'm pretty impressed with it. Okay, let's check out that crab pot. Because I would very much like to see what we can do with that. Because I'm fairly certain some of the stuff that we need for our quest involves crabs. 40 wood, 3 iron bars. Damn it. Hmm. Place it in the water, load it with bait, and check the next day to see if you've caught anything. Works in streams, lakes, and the ocean. Honestly, I think we'll make a lot of that. Well, we need lots of different types of mushrooms for that. Um... Wouldn't mind actually getting some some stuff there. Let me see. Well, we're actually going to have to go out and join in the festivities, I suppose. It's only right that we make an appearance at the very least. But let's go ahead and make some taps first. At least one. Have I got enough to make two? Yeah, I do. So we'll make another one as well. And before anything else, we're just going to pop one of these, or rather both of these, onto trees. Um, let's see. I am actually really, really curious what I would get from a pine tree. So I'm going to look for a pine tree. Pop that one there. There's a pine tree just over there that we can possibly get through by going through the grass. There we go. And I would like to know what we're going to get from this. Now, obviously, once we've got the trees that I've already planted over on the side ready, then uh, right around our crafting area, then we'll be able to get some maple syrup from them, I'm assuming, anyway. But we'll see what we can get from here as well. Sp uh, specifically, the pine tree is the one that I'm curious about. Right, okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and spend almost all of my energy watering the crops, and I will bring you back when I'm done. Okay, we've just received the notification that the flower dance has begun in the forest. We are going to be heading that way in just a moment. It actually looks like we may have been supremely lucky, and that was actually a parsnip. If it is, then we're going to get it. We're going to be able to harvest it before this season ends. If not, probably going to waste it. We also got one potato as well, which is quite nice. Let's go ahead and top up your dog bowl there. Now, it really doesn't matter for us to check what the weather's going to be like tomorrow because if it is raining, it won't matter. I don't think we can actually get our watering can upgraded today because Clint isn't going to be there, or at least that's my strongest suspicion. Okay, well, uh, with that in mind, may as well drop everything off. Uh, well, we'll bring along the fiber crest rod. Uh, actually, I, I don't know. Um, no. We're going to a bloody festival, damn it. I'm not going to bring along all of my tools. If I need my tools, then, well, that sucks, because I won't have them. Uh, but I actually do like the, uh, the pole aesthetic there, with the torches on top. I think that's going to end up looking really nice. What? Hello? Oh, I could have fished! Damn it! Ah, oh, that would have been glorious. Ah, I was wondering if this might be the way we need to go. So it's basically locked away, uh, except for this particular event. 
Okay. Hello there, Pierre. Double flowers. Flowers planted in an oak barrel. Blooms in spring and summer. That's actually quite nice. A rare crow. Collect them all. Five of eight. Tempted. <laughs> quite tempted, actually. Um, I might actually buy the type of flowers, honestly. I'll think about it. Hello there. Woo, I'm stuffed. Hey, have you tried the red jelly yet? Uh, I will try it. I wish Pierre would spend this time with the family. Oh, I'm sorry, Caroline. But if it's worth anything at all, I'm sure he's doing it not because he loves, you know, being behind the store, but because he's trying to provide for you. I know it doesn't really help, but... Oh, man, that felt bad. Hey there, Elliot. Yes, ask Elliot to be your dance partner. Uh, no. I don't think we've got enough friends. Alas. Yes? No, never mind. I imagine Elliot can dance quite well. Hello, Willie. I should have brought my fishing pole. Oh, my lord, Willie, seriously? Me too. I'm glad I'm, glad I'm not the only one who felt, thought that. Frog season is really starting to pick up. What? All right. Yes? No? No, I'm afraid not, Sam. No, I'm not going to ask. You know what? I... Oh, fantastic. I really hate dancing in front of everyone. It's so embarrassing. Okay, so Abigail is... Oh, okay. I was going to say, so Abigail isn't a dancer. No, actually she is. Apparently you can ask her. Perhaps if she is friendly enough with you, then she would say yes, even though it would embarrass her. Now, this is a life, huh, kid? Sweet wine, a babbling brook, warm air. Did I mention the wine? Pam, we do have an issue. Mmm, excellent sauce. <laughs> Okay. Ah, this green stuff is spicy. Om nom nom nom. Ow! Okay. Are you going to be dancing today, Yavak? Uh, probably not. If I wanted to do that, I really need to be a little bit better on giving the gifts. These springtime dances can be traced back to ancient fertility rituals. Ah, just as well I'm not partaking then. I, uh, don't want to become pregnant. Hey, you should know about this stuff, farmer. Uh... Ah, uh, the air smells so sweet with all these flowers. Probably does, actually, yeah. Hello, Clint. I wonder if Emily would dance with me. I'm sure she would if you ask. Someday, I'm going to be the flower queen. What about Vincent? That's not fair. Why can't I be the flower queen? Vincent, don't you dare let anyone tell you you can't be the bloody flower queen. If you want to be a flower queen, then you be a flower queen. Oh, my lord. How unprogressive. Yes, uh, never mind. Uh, no, 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 I'm trying to talk to other people. Linus, would you dance with me? Oh, hello there, it's nice of you to talk to me. Spring is almost over. What a shame. Aww. Yes, oh, I could actually ask Harley to dance. Yes, no. Hello, adventurer. Marnie looks lovely today. Oh, that's cute. <sighs> Love is in the air. I'm still single. Uh, I I know nothing about you, so I'm not going to say I hope you get together, but that's kind of cute. And sad at the same time. No, Alex, I don't want to dance. I'm practicing my dance moves. It needs to be perfect. Uh, I would never dance with someone who insisted on perfection. Dancing is not meant to be perfect. It is meant to be expressive. Well, should we start the dance now? No, I want to go talk to the last couple of people. I've been working on these floral arrangements for a week. Do you like them? Yes, I do. They're beautiful. Flowers? I can hardly see them. It's too bright out here. Well, maybe if you just... I don't know. Take in a deep breath. Enjoy enjoy the, the sound of spring. I'm going to buy a tub of flowers, damn it. I know it's expensive, but I want one for my house. Okay, we may as well start the dance. Uh, I do secretly wish someone would dance with me, but I know it would be pointless, and I'm not going to force myself to endure rejection. Yes, let's start the dance. I'll stand on the sides, or at least I can enjoy everyone else enjoying themselves. Oh, how pretty. Is Abigail dancing? Abigail is dancing. 
With Sebastian. Uh, reasonable match, actually. Elliot is dancing with... Leia? Is that Leia? Is George sleeping? I think George was actually sleeping over there. Blowing bubbles. Oh, my lord, George. How rude. Well, I've got half my energy back. Well, that was actually quite useful. But I want to place this somewhere. Hot on my porch to cover up that hole. No? Okay, fine. I shall place it. Not there. I will place it here. And it will look lovely. Lovely. Okay, well, let's have a quick gander at this path that I've carved through the forest. Oh, look at that. It looks beautiful. It's going to look even better when there are trees everywhere. Oh, I really like this. You know, this is, this is, we're working up to it. This is a, this is a project for many, many moons, I think. Uh, we may actually be able to do just a tiny little bit more work before the end of the night, then. Um, okay. Copper axe, pickaxe, some stone, also some wood. Um, right, well, one thing I would like to do is I would very much like to make this a better path. I'm g basically going to have to go to the mines to get a decent amount of stone, I'm afraid. I have used up a lot that I was saving. And I know, I know. Bit of a dirt move, but... I really like what I've managed to do with it, though. I would do it again in a heartbeat. And... Right. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of more of the stone while I've got a little bit more energy given back to me. And then we'll be wrapping up this episode. So I'll bring you back in a few moments. Okay. I have not got nearly everything done that I wanted to do. I've got loads of energy left, but it is getting so late now that my character may actually just pa flat out pass out at this point. So, it is time for us to head home and go to sleep. We've not actually made any money today. So, I'm going to pop this into the produce bin and just hope for the best. Right, well, let's see. Hello there, Snuffkin. And also, let's check on the weather report before we go to sleep. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Okay, well, I actually feel good about that. Uh, the spirits are mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. Well, just as well I didn't try to ask anyone to the dance. Just on the off chance. Level 3 mining. Pickaxe proficiency increased. New cooking recipe. Miner's treat. I can make minor lollipops. My lord. Oh, actually, no. We did actually have some produce. Oh, fantastic. There we go. Not a, not a bad day. It's always a good day if you made some profit. But that is going to be it for this episode. As always, I hope you've enjoyed. And if you have, then do consider leaving a like on the video to let me know that you'd like to see more or leave any feedback you may have in the comments below. But until next time, do take care. <laughs>